Good day world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff we love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Today I just quickly want to do an unboxing and first look at a knife. Okay, inside the box it was from the knife guy. Okay, and inside this box we got this wonderful smaller box. And inside the smaller box we get... A wonderful pouch and inside the pouch we get some stickers we get uh, some paperwork a wonderful green microfiber cloth we get something about blade show best blah blah elementum okay and the knife is not in there because as soon as I got it I had to open it to see what exactly this was and I was very very surprised and very very happy Okay, so this is the Ivory G10 Handle Damascus Blade Vision FG. Just take it out of my pocket. Okay, and it's this thing. Now I thought that was a flipper. Okay, it's this thing. Look at this wonderful looking Damascus. It is a G10, oh G10, uh, 10CR core for this Damascus. I don't know what the other stuff is, but it's supposedly a... Uh, what did I just say? CR, no, 10 CR, 15 MOV, yeah, steel Damascus. And then we have this wonderful white, um, I think the ivory, I cannot remember, white G10. No, ivory G10. And it's wonderful. Now, the previous vision, the one from We Knife Company, um, I did not like that one that much because... There were a few things that just bothered the life out of me. Now, they fixed it on this one. Okay, the first thing is this one, the super lock. Now, this is a Schnecks design. I don't know if you will be able to see it. Designed by Schnecks. Okay, so this thing could get out. So if you pulled it up, it looked like the knife was broken and I would freak out. Now, I never owned one, but I did play with another guys and... Yeah, it was not really for me. So now they added this stop pin, which you can take out if you want the thing to look like that. But thank goodness we do not have to. Okay. And then we have a reversible pocket clip. A normal, nice, standard pocket clip. Okay. You can see there is a section that's lower and it does have, <coughs> excuse me, flat screws. So the pocket clip works very nicely and it's not on the back. Okay. So it's not in your hand. It's there, okay. And in my end, this thing sits perfectly just in that, no, where am I saying? It's right there, but yes, shows you I cannot really feel it. We do have a finger choil, not a huge choil, but you can use it if you want to get nice and close to the knife blade if you want to do some work. So like I said, this is just a first look because I just got this thing, but I must say, I am really enjoying this super lock. It's like a easier, more friendly shock lock. Actually, it's very close to the shock lock. Um, in there, do you see that little hole? How can I show that to you? Okay, if you look in there, can you actually see anything? Anyway, if you look in there, you can actually see the... Maybe I should use the light from the right side. Okay, can you see that? Kind of, not really there kind of okay so you can see the way the things move in there so that was apparently the reason the previous one could fold open all the way so you can clean it but if you see something in there you can just blow on it and it should be fine again okay and then this lock is apparently extremely strong i don't know but i must say just from having this in my hand a little bit this feels like a very nice food prep knife it feels like a very nice Pretty much everything knife. We have this thing, reverse tanto, modified worn cliff, whatever. But you have a slight curve at the bottom. We have this nice rounded, uh, what do you call it, tip. This knife is awesome. Okay, we do not have jumping. Oh, and the other nice thing about this lock is the order you press on it, the order it's going to work for you. So I like it. I suppose if you are really bearing down on this, cutting through wood, then it might bother you. But I don't think I'm going to use this knife for a bushcraft knife. But for an EDC knife, this thing is fantastic. And just so you know, the lock should hold up 
way harder than you need to. Okay, so I will do the full review on this thing as soon as I had it for a while. Now, if you buy this thing from the knife guy, it's 2,200 and something rand. They do have um, cheaper versions, two with black blades, one with a satin blade. The satin blade comes with natural G10. The other two, the one comes with a black micarta and a black G10. All wonderful options and they are less expensive. They are 1,700 rand. So if you are in the market for a new lock, well, new, improved vision lock, it doesn't look like it's broken, and in a Civivi knife, go for this. Okay, so this is my second awesome Civivi that I think is the best Civivi for a year. Um, I really like that Qubit, but... I have a feeling this thing is going to take its place for a while. Okay, so all of you stay safe, happy, have a good one, goodbye.